What's up guys? So I wanted to shoot a quick one real quick, middle of the week or whatever it is, whatever day it is today. Uh, got a few tools to show you guys, but it's not what this is about. Uh, calling all subs. Got a couple projects, got to get your guys' input. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so real quick, just want to run through a couple new ones, a uh, couple tools I thought were pretty cool. Wanted to show you guys um, Mueller Coops. I mean, they've been coming up. I've been, I've been dabbling in these more and more lately, but uh, I seen these on the Cornwell truck. Scrapers, they got the carbine tip to them. I use this today on uh, Steve's uh, water pump on that engine job he finished up on the G6 and uh, these things work great. A uh, little bit different than a normal scraper you're used to seeing like the spackle type. Got a nice hefty handle on it but that carbon cuts right through old gasket, material, dirt, grime. These things work fantastic. I definitely would have liked to see maybe one more in here, maybe an extra wider one for those larger surfaces but you got the real small one, inch and a half and then maybe an inch one but that super strong metal on the end of it cuts right through it. Ain't got to worry about sharpening it. Definitely, uh, definitely awesome stuff. I'll be looking into uh, Mueller more often. And then I also got Mueller, got my second set of the hooks, the caliber hooks. So I got four together, four calibers on a car, four caliber hanging. Never need one, never need to reuse it. I could have all of them hanging at once while I'm waiting on parts. <clears throat> I got this, this was just a little cheap one I got from Cornwell. Little $9 or whatever, little clip puller. Uh, for the plugs, you know, I use it. That's what I use it for. The little, uh, you know, injector plugs or what have you. Kind of use it for that. I guess if you really had to, you could use it as popping clips. But uh, I mostly use this for the connector plugs. <clears throat> and then a new one from Snap On. I'm sure you guys seen these around. The uh, hub cleaner around the studs. You can hook it straight up to a, uh, you know, a half inch anvil and spin it as long as it's going in the right direction. Definitely seems nice. I know 3M made a kit I had years back with purple ones. Uh, pretty much ran out of disc and never used it again, but this one's made out of metal. Definitely seems nice, and it's cool. You could use the option just using it on uh, you know, a pneumatic tool or a battery tool and have a nice little hub cleaner here. And I believe the guy said you could get the refills, like four for 29 bucks or whatever. Picked this up for like $35. Part number on that one, I believe is right there. I'm not sure. But some cool stuff I picked up. And then I'll also be reviewing. I got another one sent in. This one's more going to be geared towards, uh, you know, the DIYer or, or uh, you know, weekend mechanic. Another one from Ansel, Bluetooth scanner. It's got a little mountable screen, and you could use it with your cell phone. So I'll be reviewing this one probably in an upcoming video shortly. Just do a quick one on it. I peeked in the box. Seems nice quality stuff. Ansel, you know, they make nice stuff. I've reviewed a couple of their products. This one's the BD310 OBD2 scanner. Can't wait to check this one out. You guys stay tuned if you want to see that one. The reason for today's video, you guys know I've been busy working on the mezzanine. It's actually coming along pretty good up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Got uh, pegboard up there. Got the stairs in real nice. Got my filters up there, wipers you know, all types of inventory, and that's kind of what, why I made this thing for, to get off some ground space, lift up, you know, clear up some floor space. That corner's cleared out. Got my uh, old parts room used for equipment now. You can see I got my AVC machine, welder, all that stuff in there now, cleaning it up slowly but surely. This uh, spring cleaning is getting into summer now. It's, I'll call it late summer spring cleaning. I'll probably be doing this till fall. But I got a project here. You guys been following the channel for a while. You guys know I got a bunch of poker machines and all that stuff. But I took one of my older bar poker machines, brought it to the shop, and uh, we're gonna cut into this one. I got some, uh, I got some ideas. Probably gonna uh, put this in the office, give maybe customers a chance to win free oil changes or something, run some kind of special, you know, part of being a business owner and getting business through the door. You know, ideas always going through my head. You know, maybe I'll do something where you know, you buy a year oil changes and you could have a chance to win a free one or win a 10% off if you get, you know, four of a kind, straight flush, five of a kind, royal flush. You know, they don't have to pay the money. I'll put the money in, but they got to buy the oil changes, the year's worth of oil changes. But I'll probably cut this thing down the middle here, 
make it a little thinner. I'm gonna take out the CRT TV and put in a LCD. They got the conversion. I've been wanting to do that since I picked this thing up. You can see it's got an old tube style TV in there, but it still works. Still plays just fine. Screen's a little weird picking up on the camera, but definitely gets the job done. I could sit here and uh, play this for hours, but that's the next project. The bill counter still works. We got the money in it. So you take out a buck. I think a dollar gets you 20 credits. So, some next little project. Maybe I'll put some uh, artwork on there, some of my artwork or something. But that's going to be the next one. Maybe I'll do a video on this one, what I plan to do on it. I plan on saving most of the original pieces, you know, and then maybe just rework them, sand them, get rid of this veneer stuff, and then put some nice rhino lining on there, black rhino lining with some red, the colors of the shop. But that's the next one. Love that machine. And then the next one is another car I actually got. And uh, this one's a little rough around the edges, but uh, it was given to me. I believe it's a, I don't know, we'll call it a 90, 97 Lumina, something like that. But it's, it's rough around the edges. It's uh, pretty much all rotted out underneath, but it still runs and drives great. But I think what we're gonna do is uh, maybe blow this sucker up. I don't know. Take all the oil out of it. Put some, put some, some beer in there or something. See how long it runs on Corona or maybe subscribers' choice. I see that stuff on YouTube a lot. Maybe put, uh, I don't know, some uh, water. See how long it run, runs on water or syrup. <laughs> and uh, see if we can blow this thing up, JRC 54 style, before I go ahead and junk it because this thing's just. Uh, it's not, it's not safe. It's not safe for the road. The rust, the Illinois rust has got to this one. Control arms are all rotted out, frames all rotted out. I'm probably gonna blow it up where it sits. That way I don't have to push it back out of the shop, but we'll see how long she runs on some beer or something, or some hard alcohol or, man, you guys leave me, the, leave me some ideas in the comment section. What would you guys like to see this thing run on and for how long we'll take some bets. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. And then we got Steve's car here. He just finished this one up today. Runs great, trans is good. What a deal on that one. I think, I think we ended up maybe two grand in all out. Ended up getting AC Delco water pump, all the good parts to it, but she runs great. So a couple quick projects around the shop. You guys leave me some comments below what you, what you guys like to see with that Chevy Lumina. Like I said, it, it, it runs great. I mean, it's a shame because the motor and trans is strong, it's just, for me, obviously being given to me, it's it, you know it's not worth making a car out of it. I mean, what would I get? 800 bucks for it? Oh, got the Jeep too. You guys remember this one from about a month ago. Deal's finally going through. <clears throat> the guy dropped off his other Jeep. We're able to switch over the interior, switch over the tires. What's nice about this too is his interior that came out of it was manual seats, and the one he pulled out of his was leather, and it had power, and. Uh, Chrysler had the plug ready to go pretty much underneath the carpet. Just pull the plug out, plug him in, pop a fuse in there. He's got power seats now. So this one's ready to be delivered. He's gonna pick it up this weekend. Finally, been waiting forever. Pretty much needs brakes now. It's been sitting for so long. But that one's out of here. Still waiting on that Nissan. All the other ones out of here. Steve's is out of here. We gotta get this next flip. But calling all subs. You guys let me know what you like to see uh, us put that Lumina through, see what it can handle, what it could run off of. Maybe what you guys like to do, maybe we'll redline or something crazy. I don't know. Leave your ideas down in the comment section. Also, you guys got some ideas about Project Poker Machine Free Oil Change? We're going to do something cool with that one. Spending too much time on it. Got to get it out of the shop. Got to get this work done instead of playing poker all day. But quick one for you guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Catch you down in the comment section. Signing out.